Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We just thank you right now, oh, Father. We bless your name even now, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Ah, my God of Zion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, oh God. We thank you right now. God bless you, women of God, on tonight. We bless your name. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless your name, oh God. We just ask you to continue to have your way on tonight, Lord. We thank you. We glorify your name, oh God. Hallelujah. For our Redeemer lives on tonight. We know that we are celebrating, glory be to God, our holiday season. But most of all, we are celebrating Jesus. And I just want you to know I greet you by the spirit of the living God. We welcome you to the Break of Day Prayer Live on tonight. And we just thank you for all the prayer warriors and, and the intercessors that have come into the room to pray with us. Glory be to God. And on tonight, I come in agreement with you. God bless your bishop on tonight. I come in agreement with you, hallelujah, because we know that the spirit of the Lord is going to meet us on tonight. And as we go into a word of prayer, I want you to know, just put on your mind what you want God to do on tonight. Father, we come before you in the matchless name of Jesus. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify you. And now, God, we ask you to have your divine way on tonight. We ask you to come and sit at, oh God, this chamber with us, oh God. We ask you right now, oh God, to give us access, oh God. And Father, as you do it, the people will know, oh God, that the spirit of the Lord have moved upon this prayer chamber on tonight. Hey, my God of Zion, and we give your name the praise, and we give your name the glory, and we give your name the honor right now. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Just want to worship the Lord for a few moments. Hallelujah. As the Spirit of the Lord continue to fill the room. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you on tonight. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We welcome all the fivefold ministry on tonight. We welcome pastors on tonight. We welcome apostles, oh God, bishops, oh God. We thank you right now, hallelujah. Thank you for teachers and evangelists, oh God. Thank you for the prophet tonight, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for the ushers on tonight, hallelujah. Thank you for the praise and worship leaders on tonight. Thank you for the mind dancers and performers on tonight, hallelujah, Jesus. We just welcome you in this place. We welcome you in this chamber on tonight. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. For the Lord is moving by his spirit on tonight. And God, we just thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. How many know that we're looking for God to do something great on tonight? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Lord gave me a few words this week. Hallelujah. And the next couple of days on yesterday, we begin to speak on the alphabet of A. Hallelujah. We begin to speak on, hallelujah, Jesus, our attitude. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And being abused and walking in abuse. Uh-huh. And we begin to talk on also being ambitious. 
about the things of God. And on tonight, the Spirit of the Lord began to give me the Beatitudes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And he began to allow me to walk in the spirit realm about walking with him and giving us oh, a right to him and giving us an opportunity to seek his face while we can yet find him. And he began to let me know about the alphabet B, to believe. Glory be to God. If we can know tonight, if we call on the name of the Lord, we shall be saved. And he said in this word, if we confess with our mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. If we just confess and believe, hallelujah, glory be to God that we will be saved. We'll be able to be delivered. We'll be able to be set free. And on tonight, if thou just can believe God tonight, hallelujah, Jesus. Can you believe God on tonight? And I want you to know all those that are on my Facebook live and all of you are in our prayer group. I want you to know I've been seeking the Lord and I've been so busy about the business of God. And the Lord said, can you just trust me? Hallelujah. And I have some needs that's before the Lord. But he said to me, can you believe me? Can you believe my word? He said, I sent them. Hallelujah. And he sent them out, glory be to God, to proclaim the gospel. And see, God has sent me to proclaim the gospel to those, glory be to God, that I cannot reach, glory be to God, in different cities. But God have allowed technology to come into our homes and come into our hands. And I am able to reach you. And God saying tonight, can you just believe? Can you just have that faith tonight to believe that I am God? And I want you to know tonight, I got to tell you, we got to believe God when nothing else is standing. You got to have the belief, glory be to God, that God is going to move. Your belief system have to go up. Hallelujah. To trust God and know that he got you. And I want you to know tonight, I give God praise that he want you and I to walk in belief. Believe him. He said it. It is written. And one thing about the word of God, it cannot come back void when he done spoke it. Hallelujah, glory be to God. When he said, oh, glory be to God, let it be light, it was light. Hallelujah, glory be to God. And when he began to speak, glory be to God, to, to the different elements of the earth, it had to do what? To submit to the voice of God. And tonight we got to submit ourselves up under the mighty hand of God that he can exalt us in due time that we can walk in belief on tonight. You got to come up in your belief tonight to know, hallelujah, just because there is a few more days that the new year is progressing towards all of us. It is approaching. I want you to know tonight we got to trust God and believe by faith mm -hmm, that he's going to allow us to enter in. Oh, good God Almighty. Into 2018. We got to believe that tonight. And I just want to take a moment to pause to give honor where honor is due tonight. On this day, hallelujah, Jesus, I celebrate Jesus on December the 30th because on December the 29th, 1999, my mother went home to be with the Lord. And I just want to pause a moment to just tell God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Because let me let you understand something. My mother went home to be with the Lord on December the 29th. My mother's birthday would have been January 1st, which is New Year's. She did not make it. I say she did not make it. So let us walk with the faith in God to believe, glory be to God, by faith, God is going to allow us to enter in to 2018. So tonight, God, we pray, oh God, that we are at your mercy seat on tonight, that you will allow those that, oh God, by my Facebook family and my Facebook, oh God, uh, sisters and brothers, that you will allow us, oh God, we are asking you for permission, God, that we believe you by faith, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, that you will allow us to cross over into 2018, 
the our belief system, oh God, is in operation now by faith, oh God, that we speaking about the power of God that is done in the name of Jesus. And Father, we decree it tonight to be so. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. The second B the Lord gave me, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, is broken. Now, there is quite a few people that's on this Facebook page tonight that you are broken. But I come tonight to let you know you are not destroyed. Hallelujah, glory be to God. And my scripture tonight, hallelujah, glory be to God, is going to be moving you in a realm of faith tonight to allow you to operate in the faith of God, in the belief system of God. But yes, 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 you've been broken, but you're not destroyed. Hallelujah. I'm going to be coming tonight from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and I'm going to, be st I'm going to start at verse 8. And it reads, we are not, no, excuse me, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are troubled. We got things that are going on. We got things that we cannot fix by ourselves. We got people, loved ones that are not saved that need God on tonight. So we are troubled on every side yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Come on, somebody. Mm, my God of God, Zion. Hallelujah. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Ha! Hey, hey! Glory be to God. I want you to know tonight, yeah, yeah, yes, we have been broken in some areas. Glory be to God. And I want you to know Broken mean to be fractured, to be damaged, no longer in one piece. Mm, 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 mm. On tonight, we are no longer in one piece, but one thing we are in God, mm, my God of Zion. And you got to understand tonight, oh, Baba Moshai, when you are broken in some areas in your life, one thing you got to realize God has the power to put you back together again. Man cannot put you back together. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost, is the keeping power. And the Holy Ghost is the glue to your situation on tonight. So I want you to know, I want you to be encouraged that you maybe have went through some trying times this year. And some things may still be approaching all around you. But tonight, somebody say tonight. Tonight, hallelujah, I may be broken but I'm not destroyed because my Savior, my Redeemer, he lives. And when he came into my life, whenever that day he came, he has never left you. Many times we have walked away from God, but God has never walked away from us. So all you got to do is do what? Get yourself back in position because we are persecuted. We are walking in different situations. We are talked about. We are criticized. But today, I want the devil to know, you maybe have came at us in every direction. All of us have went through some type of situations. But on tonight, I celebrate Jesus. Because yes, we may be broken in some areas, but we are not destroyed tonight. We still got time, and we still got a way, which is Jesus Christ. He is the truth and the way and the light for all of us on tonight so we got a way out tonight we got a reason to celebrate jesus we got a reason to give him glory we got a reason to give him honor on tonight and i honor the lord glory be to god because there are many people hallelujah jesus are walking around with brokenness in their heart brokenness in their spirit brokenness in their mindset but tonight i come to let you know that the Spirit of the Lord is here tonight to put you back together again. Hallelujah. You maybe have not had a one piece of, in a long time. You may maybe have not had a full rest in a long time. You maybe have not had a full paycheck in a, in a long time. You maybe have not been to pay all your bills in a long time. You maybe had to go through some ailments in your body in a long time. But good God Almighty, tonight I come to let you know
Don't you walk in despair because I'm coming tonight and speaking the word of the Lord. Be thou made whole on tonight. In every area that you need God to move, be thou made whole in the name of Jesus. We speak it by the power of the Holy Ghost that it is so. God, I thank you on tonight. We know that our help come from you. You say, you said in your word, you say, I lift my head upon the hill from which cometh my help. My help, your help, come from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Now, Lord, shake up heaven on our behalf on tonight. Glory be to God. Shake up heaven on our behalf on tonight in the name of Jesus. I come in agreement with you tonight. I come in agreement with your ministry. I come in, in agreement with your church. I come in agreement with your family. I come in agreement with your husband on tonight. I come in agreement with your wife on tonight. I come in agreement with your children on tonight. Glory be to God. They may not be all what you want them to be, but glory be to God. They still have a chance on tonight. And we've given God praise for that chance. We've given God praise for that opportunity on tonight. Hallelujah. Because our Redeemer lives. Hallelujah. As long as our Redeemer live on the inside of us, we have a right and we have an opportunity. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thank him on tonight because our help, glory be to God, comes from God. And now that we know, somebody need to put on the screen tonight, we know that our help, I say we know, I didn't just say I, I say we, we know we know, come in agreement with this word on tonight. We know, come on, I'm on my side. I need you to feel that thing on tonight. Feel it in your spirit. We know. See, when you walk in doubt and when you walk in despair and you walk around brokenness, walk, walk around with brokenness, you cannot get faith to come into brokenness. Hallelujah. Because Jesus was made whole. Hallelujah. Never mind how they broken his bones. He was still made whole by the Father. So you got to understand, I don't care what it looked like. You are made whole because you are in Christ and Christ is in you. God, I bless your name on tonight. I give your name the glory on tonight. You need to get your faith up and know that God is your perfect help. He is your help. There's no other help that's more perfect than God. I don't care what it looked like. Your job, glory be to God, cannot give you what God can give you. The lottery cannot give you what God can give you. I have seen and heard people win the lottery. They could not even spend all the money that they won. Come on, somebody. Y'all, you hear me on tonight. I have seen people get inheritance and was not able to spend it all. Come on, somebody. I need you to get that on tonight. Hallelujah. So money do not make you. Glory be to God. It's the anointing that destroys every yoke on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Sometimes we walk around and we say we broke. You already telling the devil right now, I have nothing. I have nothing. But you got to let the devil know I got all things. I got all things. Why? Because I belong to God. And long as you belong to God, you have a, a right to the tree of life. My, 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 my. Ooh, glory be to God. And the tree of life got everything that you need. You just got to go pick the fruit off the tree. My, my, my daughter, because God bless you, uh, uh, man of God. God bless you, sister Ellen, on tonight. God bless you, Deborah, on tonight. I thank God for you. How y'all both you got to come to a place in God and say, God, I'm ready to be blessed. That's the last beat on tonight. I'm ready to be blessed. I'm ready to be blessed. I'm ready for a change. I'm ready to walk therein. Hallelujah. Why? Because I believe God and his word. I have allowed salvation to come into my life. 
Yes, I've been broken. I, I, all my bills are not paid. My car is not paid off. Come on, somebody. My house is not paid off, but I still believe God. And somebody say, I don't even own a house. Hallelujah. I'm staying in an apartment. Somebody say, I may be staying in a trailer, but that's all right. Glory be to God, because you are still blessed. And you, when you find out how blessed you are, you have to remind the devil, I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed everywhere I go. So you gotta let the devil know how y'all shake your both side. I am blessed, glory be to God. May not have everything I need. Maybe not able to go everywhere I wanna go. But I am blessed tonight. Ah, yeah, God, I thank you. I'm blessed tonight, everybody on both side. God, I gotta get a praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Why? Because I know that I'm blessed. You gotta pull down your praise. Pull it down, glory be to God. In the midst of your circumstances, you gotta know that God is God. He's God all by himself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You got to get ready, glory be to God. Hallelujah, because when God get ready to bless you, you have to be what? In position for a blessing. Hey, Shakaya. I say you got to be in position for a blessing. Hallelujah. Don't turn to the left nor to the right. But look to the hill from which cometh your help and know that your help is coming from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. I thank him more tonight. I give him honor because it is God. It's the Christ on the inside of you that's bringing out the light in you. So don't get cocky when God go to moving on your behalf. Hallelujah. Continue to stay humble. Continue to be submissive to God. We are getting ready to believe God by faith to transition over to 2018. Hallelujah. And how many ready to go? God bless you. Men of God, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yes. God bless you, men of God. God bless you, Sister Audrey. Come on, somebody. God bless you, Valerie, on tonight. Hey, my love, oh, Shia. Hallelujah. I'm ready to pray now. Because when you find out, hey, but I know the side, how blessed that you are, you can recognize, hallelujah, how anointed you are. Because God look after his own. God Look after his own. When you become favorable in the apple of his eye, you become favorable. Glory be to God. Favor will find you. Favor will track you down. You are on this broadcast tonight by favor. Hallelujah. Because I spoke to you on last night and I say I am the same one that could not look myself in the mirror. But now I am looking at this camera and people are coming on this broadcast all over the world. People was on this broadcast from England on last night. Glory be to God. From Bahamas last night. In different regions. Glory be to God. I am the same one. Hallelujah. Because at one point I believed God but I was broken. Hey, hey I need you to catch that. I believe God, but I was broken. Hey, I'm talking to somebody today. I'm talking to somebody right now. I believe God, but I was broken. Hey, by both sides. And when I began to put myself together, mm -hmm, walking in the faith and the assurance and the abundance of God, I recognized, hallelujah, Jesus, all this kept me from coming forward in God. So all the brokenness, all the depression, all the aggravation, all the confusion, all the despair, hallelujah, all the letdowns, hallelujah, all the pain, all the hurt, it was already getting me positioned, hey, by my side. Glory be to God, to walk into the blessing plan that God had for me. Come on, somebody. So be encouraged on tonight. Yeah, by my side. Tell yourself, say, self, all my bills may not be paid. But they are on the way to be paid. Come on, somebody. Why? Because I am blessed. Ministries, glory be to God. You're looking for land. You're looking for property. You're looking for places that you can preside in. Tell yourself tonight, I am blessed. My church is blessed. My pastor is blessed. My leaders are blessed. We are blessed. Why? Because we belong to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I may not have the car that I desire to drive, but I'm looking for the one that I desire to drive. Why? Because I'm blessed. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. 
Glory be to God. I thank you on tonight. I bless your name on tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. How many love God on tonight? God bless you, Dorothy. God bless you. God bless you. I'm ready for God to bless. I'm ready for God to move. I'm ready for God to put us in that place. I'm ready for God to move by his spirit on tonight. Glory be to God. I want you to know tonight. Glory be to God. It is 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 God. Hallelujah. It is God ready to do. Hallelujah. What he has already spoken to you. Head of the most side. He's ready to move on your behalf. He's ready to move on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. You got to look out for those, hallelujah, that are looking for you to fall. Come on, somebody. I need you to understand that on tonight. There are people, why God is putting you together, why you are allowing your belief system to come up, come on, why you are wait, waiting on God to break some things in your life, because you are walking around with brokenness, uh-huh, and while you are getting in line for your blessings, there are people that are out there, hallelujah, they are waiting on you to fall. They are waiting on you not to make it. But somebody say tonight, yeah, both side. come on, somebody. I want you to know, God bless you, GM, on tonight. I want you to know God is coming for you tonight. The devil's back is being destroyed tonight. I say the devil's back is being destroyed tonight. Why? Because it does not matter, glory be to God, what they say or what they do. This is why you have to be discreet about what you do. Everything you cannot post on Facebook. Everything you cannot put on social media. Why? Because the enemy on my both side. While somebody is praying for you, there is another person got a P-R-E-Y at you. They have a prey. They are a prey to eat up your substances. They are ready to eat up your goods. But somebody say tonight, oh, my, 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 shy. We are breaking the devil's back on tonight. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God. My help, glory be to God. And my hope is in God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm ready tonight. Glory be to God. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, God. Woman of God. Yes, I'm ready for a change. I'm ready for God to do what he has promised us. We believe God at his word. Yes, we do. We believe him on tonight. And we have all come short of the glory of God. I do not like it when people get so saved and so holy and they have forgot where their help have come from. Our help, all of our help come from the same source. It comes from God. Now, some people got a little bit of help than others. Some people have been born with a silver spoon. Mm -hmm. Some people have been born with a white picket fence. Uh huh. Some people got drug dealers in their family. Come on. Some people sell drugs they own self. Come on. There's some people that have worked and have, edu have an education now. So they have worked hard and got degrees. And so they make very good money. So stop looking at everybody and thinking that they're supposed to be broke. Everybody's not supposed to be broke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care where you live. You don't have to stay there. It does not matter if you are in a broken home or you are in, in the projects or you own subsidized housing. You don't have to stay there. We see the, the president is making a change right now concerning all of that. So what God's saying tonight, raise up your belief system. Stop walking around like you broke. Stop acting like God is not who he is in your life. And get ready. Glory be to God. Because when God bless you, the, pay, the player haters don't hate you. Uh-huh. Yes, I say it. Uh-huh. When God bless you, the player haters. And that's when you got to put the hater blockers on. Uh-huh. The hater blockers that don't make no sense. Uh-huh. You got to let the devil know, I, I don't see you, devil. I see the hand of God. Put your hater blockers on and keep moving in God. Come on, somebody, tonight. I need you to get with the, put your hater blockers on. Glory be to God because they don't like you when you're being blessed. Come on, somebody. Put on the screen right now the hater blockers. Get you some hater blockers and keep your hater blockers with you because you don't never know when God's going to bless you. And tonight, I'm looking for God to bless me, so I got my hater blockers on. Glory be to God. I don't see the devil. I don't see the bill collector. I don't see those that are looking for me to fall. Why? Because I got my hater blockers on. And right now, you need to find you some hater blockers. Keep them in your purse. Keep them in your car, men of God. So when trouble come, hard. 
hallelujah. It don't seem like you're going to be able to do what you need to do for your wife or your children. Put your hater blockers on and just begin to just rock with God. Hello, somebody. Let the devil know. Devil, you don't have me because my God still provides for me. Why? Because I still know that God is going to come and see about me. I'm still blessed. I'm blessed in the city still. I'm blessed in the field. Why? Because I trust God. I got my hater blockers on. And I don't care what the devil say. Hallelujah. Because guess what? I can't see you, spirit. Glory be to God. I got my hater blockers on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And one thing you got to realize, come on, somebody. We're going to rock tonight. Everybody shine day. Because you got to realize when you're blessed in the field and you're blessed in the city, you don't care what the devil say about you. Hallelujah. You may have to wait a little while. Your blessings may not come with everybody else's, but baby, just remind yourself tonight. I know it's coming. 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 We rock it ourselves. The 2018. We rock it ourselves. The 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tonight. I feel my help on tonight because I know he's coming. He's coming. 
He's coming to see about us all tonight. I said, He's coming to see about us all tonight. Hallelujah. When you can believe, except that you've been broken, except that you did not make the grave, except that you did not win every battle, except that on tonight, take ownership, but let the devil know I'm still blessed. I'm still blessed. I'm still blessed. I'm still blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, tonight. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you on tonight. Glory be to God on tonight. Y'all are rocking me tonight. Y'all rocking my Holy Ghost on tonight. Y'all rocking my Holy Ghost on tonight. Tell yourself tonight, it is my time, it is my season. Because I believe God, it's my time to be blessed. And I told myself that today. I call a couple of my spiritual children today. I say, it is my time. Are you hearing what I say? That's why you got to live a life with your integrity intact. Because you don't never know who's watching you. Because you have to get in a place in God and recognize people are depending on you. And I recognize some of you all today, I spoke to you by phone. Because guess what? You are in my heart. I don't play games with people. Because if I was going to play games, I'd be at Walmart playing games. I'll be in the arcade playing games. I don't play games because I don't want nobody playing games with me. And all you game players, I want you to go get you a Nintendo because they don't sell. Because people ain't got time to play games in 2018. If you need a game right now, you can go to the game store. They still sell an Xbox. Let's go buy you one. Because it is people that are serious about the business of God. And I need people that's ready to shift. Whatever city, whatever state, whatever country you reside in, God is calling you out as number one, an intercessor to do what? To pray. To come together in prayer. You got most people now that are coming together with prayers and prayer ministries. They don't live nothing. I say they don't live nothing. You got more people that got Facebook posts and everything else that they're doing. But God wants you to know tonight, it does not matter what they do. Put your hater blockers on and you continue to work. I said, put your hater blockers on and you continue to work. That was a surprise to you tonight. It was to believe God. After you believe God, hallelujah, you accept that you've been broken. And a lot of times when people are broken, guess what they do? They hide behind the shade because they're broken. But when you become blessed, people know that you're blessed. You have to learn how to block. So you got to block out the enemy because a lot of distractions are going to come your way. And you got to learn how to block him out that you can continue to work. And I literally do that sometimes. I get to my shades on and I walk to my block. Why? Because I already know the adversary is at me. I already know he's looking for me not to make it. He's looking for my husband, Apostle Stubbs, for him not to make it. So guess what? I put my hater blockers on and I keep going. Glory be to God. And tonight, woman of God, hallelujah. I give God praise for you. I give God glory for you. Hallelujah. I celebrate you, Sister Audrey, tonight that you just celebrated your anniversary. I thank God for you. Twining together with your husband that lets you know I pay attention to what's going on on my page. And I celebrate you all for your 14th year anniversary. I salute you on tonight, woman of God. I just want you to know I pay attention to the people that are connected to my page. And I salute you to continue to hold up the bloodstained banner, you and your husband. And I'm going to continue to pray for your marriage and your relationship and your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. 
glory be to God. Hallelujah, glory be to God. If there's anybody that's on my page tonight, as we move forward in the things of God, if you have backslidden and have fell short of the glory of God, and you want to come back to God on tonight, there's no better way, no better open confession than to do it even now. Because the time is nigh, and time is not waiting on no one. But I want you to know tonight, if you desire to be saved, God bless your son. My, my, my son is on Brother D. God bless you. I want you to know you can be saved on tonight. I want to ask you to take a moment. To, do you believe God? Do you believe? Because if you believe him, then you can be saved. Then that's all I'm asking on for you tonight. If there is one tonight that you desire to be saved, there was a woman of God told me yesterday she want to be filled up with the Holy Ghost. And my God, I have a work to do. Because I'm believing God before 2018 or by 2018. Honey, this sister going to be speaking in an unknown tongue. And she's right here from on my Facebook page right now. She wants to be filled up with the Holy Ghost. So that let me know people all over are ready for a change. And you know what they're saying? That's why y'all are coming on this page like that. You say, I've been looking for truth. That woman is something serious. This is me all the time. I'm a fun person, but I'm a serious person when I get down to the business of God. If there is one to be saved, a desire to be saved, I'm going to ask you to put it up on the screen tonight. Hallelujah. That you desire to be saved. And heaven going to rejoice with you. Hallelujah. Pastor Valerie, that's me. That's me all day. What you see is what you get. This is me all day. I love God. I love God's people. I love reaching the people. Why? Because there's a people that's hungry, there's a people that's thirsty, there's a people that's tired. There's people that are sick of church. They don't like going to church because people in church are liars, thieves, and whatever else you want to call them. I'm just trying to be good tonight. And so most of the people, you know, that's in the pulpit, you know, they done took more than a sip before they opened up their Bible. So I just want you to know it is just time for people just to be real about the things of God. Hallelujah. So tonight, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Glory be to God. Yes, 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 yes. Valerie, you shall walk in that. You already know that. It's your time and it's your season that you're going to know your perfect, your perfect call for God. I've been praying over you. And you have a love for people. And what people got to recognize, let me just help some of the people tonight. Just because you walk into a pastoral call, some people is called to a flock. Some pastors are called to administration. Some pastors are called to the youth. Some pastors are called to the women department. Some pastors are called to men department. It is different positions of pastoral. And pastoral is nothing but being presiding over to speak the word of the Lord. People make pastor look so big and so technical. It's nothing but an office of a position to pour out and to help others grow into the nourishment of God. Hallelujah. We, You have pastors over ministration. Glory be to God. They can work those books and know how to work those budgets and have that money to come together and know how to go out and get um, uh, property and go, come back to the board and say, this is what I have found. So I just want you to know tonight, this is going to help some of you. And some pastors are called to a people, which I have been called to a people. Glory be to God. I am a pastor. I oversee a flock. Glory be to God. But God has also called me amongst those same people up and out as an apostle. So I still operate in the pastoral office when need be. So I hope I help somebody tonight. Glory be to God. So don't let nobody make you think that, you know, you're not called and you're not chosen for a certain assignment. You are affected in what you do. 
in that area God wants to perfect it for his glory and I pray to God tonight that pastors even that you are on this page tonight I pray that you loose your people and you let them grow Mm -hmm. I said that right loose them and let them grow because it's no need you having leadership or leadership team and everybody's still in the same position year after year, month after month. That's not growth. So when you are training your leaders, glory be to God, you are training them for the office of the assignments of the kingdom of God. And that's why we have to have the apostolic order in the house. Because when you have the apostolic order in the house, it'll flow. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. And your church will grow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Minister Hafusha tonight. God bless you, men of God. Thank you for tuning in. You're my family. My I and my family. God bless you on tonight. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, bo, 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 shine, get a little bo, see. Thank you, Lord God. I want to say to you, Brother Troy, I didn't say this to you today on the phone. But I will say this to you while we're talking about pastors. You will pastor. <laughs> you will pastor. Glory be to God. And I'm going to tell you right now that the, 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 the way God is calling you is going to be different. Hallelujah. Some pastors are called to outreach. Hallelujah. They're not called to pastor in the four walls. Hallelujah. I just hope y'all getting this tonight. I don't know why y'all got me going here, but I'm going to go there while we're here. So I just want you to know tonight that be open to the spirit of God. Uh, 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 man of God, you are of a person of influence. Hallelujah. Yes, you know how to attract people to you. Mm -hmm. And there are some people who never walk into a church, but they will come hear you. Oh, come on, somebody. I need you to get that on tonight. Hallelujah. So don't be moved tonight because people are not allowing you in their pulpit. They're not allowing you in their church. I'm training a pastor right now that's on this Facebook page. She will walk into a pastoral call. She's already, the Lord already called her. Hallelujah. She's chosen for that. Hallelujah. Now it's our job later on to see what capacity the Lord will have her to operate. Hallelujah. Some people is only called to pastor 20 people. That's it. That's, that's not saying they're not a pastor. Some people are called a pastor five people. Let me break it down because I want, I want you to show you. I want you to see how small and significant that is to God. If Jesus was able to, twer, to, to transform the whole world with 12 disciples that he pastored <laughs> and they became apostles, how much more? So stop looking at big numbers, baby. Because big numbers, I'm not trying to be funny, but a lot of big numbers are going the opposite direction. He said, only the remnant is going to see him. So I hope I, I hope you got that tonight. And I pray to God that we be the remnant. We don't know. We better pray that we are the remnant. I, I, I'm teaching. Uh, Y'all got me teaching the last couple of nights. I done shouted now with my head of blockers on. So I want you to know that tonight. So if, if God give you 12 people to pastor, of five people to pastor, you pastor those people to the best of your ability. The ministry that I have in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, is a small ministry. You can count the members of that ministry on one hand. But let me tell you something. That is a powerful ministry. That's a significant ministry. So don't you be moved by no people and how many numbers. It's good to have numbers if you got to praise God. Because when you got numbers, a lot of time, a lot of work that you don't have to do, but it's still there's a lot of work that's still undone. Because there's a lot of big churches around our ministry are still not doing what we do. So I just want you to know, to be encouraged, leaders, on tonight. We're not moved by numbers. We're moved by the Spirit of God. Mm, God bless you brother Harry no 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 the devil cannot take our joy he cannot take our joy mm, glory be to God two or more amen that's power when I send leaders out to do a job I send them out two by two because guess what that's what the word did as long as they got two I'm good what I do not like is people going out by themselves because you don't know what territory and what area you're going in 
and what's mm -hmm. out there for you. So that's why you should not go out by yourself. It's not wise. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But I just want to encourage you all right there. It does not matter. You can have two people and be significant to God. Glory be to God. So I want you to know it's important for you to stay faithful to God. It is important for you to stay in the realm of righteousness. That's why you need overseers that's going to oversee you. Glory be to God. If you are on this Facebook page and you don't have overseers over your ministry, I need you to inbox you before the new year. Do not allow your ministry to be naked. Hallelujah, Jesus. My leaders, my parents, glory be to God, they are beautiful people in God. They are apostolic leaders. And they are covering people around the world. And it's a beautiful work that they are doing. So I just want you to, to know that you are not alone. That's why you're on my page. Because if it was nothing to me, you would not keep coming back. But I am who God say that I am. And I'm coming in the spirit of meekness to help you and to strengthen you. And some of you, I will help elevate you. It may not be me per se, and it may be me. Glory, to you. Glory be to God. Some of you that I have, you have already spoke to me about me marrying you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I, I don't have to be invited to the wedding. I'm doing the wedding. Hallelujah. I'm in the wedding. Hallelujah. I already know what I'm wearing. My robe. Hallelujah. If you find yourself in a place that you need help, if I can't help you, I'm going to direct you in the way that you need to go. Why? Because I'm serious about the business of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So tonight, I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. Mm, yes. I got some people on my Facebook post tonight. They come into my watch night service. Oh, we're going to dance like that. Ah, woo, woo, woo. Bring your hater blockers too. Glory be to God. Bring your hater blockers when you come. I got folks getting on the bus, traveling to Orlando to be with me on watch night service, and I'm excited about that. So I just want you to know that we love God, and we love what God is doing in our life. And I want you to know that I thank him and I praise him. Glory be to God. And I want to pray for some of you all tonight, because I know that you've been asking God. Okay, God, I know that you're speaking to me, but I need clarity. I want to pray for clarity tonight. An understanding, a receptiveness that you can receive. Because sometimes God is speaking, but you're not ready to accept. Some of you are not ready to accept that you did not do everything that you needed to do for 2017. Some of you uh, is not ready to accept that you had a broken relationship. You broke off with someone. Some of you are not really ready to accept that you had to break off from other ministries other friends, some family members, you're not ready to accept that. So you need clarity. I want to pray for clarity tonight. Mm. Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. And I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost that you allow the men and women of God that's on this page tonight that clarity shall come to them. I pray, oh God, that it shall be a paradigm shift and their spirit that they will know that you have spoken to them precisely and now that the Holy Spirit will rightly divide what they need to understand what you are saying in their spirit and in their heart. God, I speak to their mind tonight that their mind will line up with their spirit and their spirit will line up with their heart that they'll be able to accept everything that you have spoken to them they'll be able to walk in the fullness of the blessings that you have for them and you have positioned for them. This is my prayer tonight. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray. God, you promised us that if we serve you, oh God, that you would deliver our household, God. You promised us, Lord God, that if we come to you, oh God, that you will move on our behalf. Father, you promised us, oh God, that we call on your name, we shall be saved. Father, you've spoken to our spirit to let us know, dear God, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So, Father, tonight, we speak a decree over our children, that our children are saved tonight. 
Our children are delivered tonight. Our children are set free, God. We come against every addiction tonight. In the name of Jesus, that it is so. Every spirit of perversion that try to attack them, we cast it now. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of sexual impurity, we bind you now. In the name of Jesus, we come against soreness in the name of Jesus. But they are no longer be sore in their spirit. But they have a free spirit to come to their parents in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you right now. I bind every soul tied tonight. In the name of Jesus, we cut the devil back tonight. In the name of Jesus, we bind you up right now. In the name of Jesus, we command your state and lose your hope on tonight that it is so on tonight. In the name of Jesus. And God, I decree it. But let it be so on tonight. God, I thank you for deliverance in the name of Jesus. I thank you for your power, oh God, showering our family members down in the name of Jesus. I come in agreement with my Facebook family on tonight that every demonic spirit is being broken and destroyed on tonight. Drugs be gone. I speak to that spirit. Alcohol be gone. Pills be gone in the name of Jesus. Suicidal spirits be gone now in the name of Jesus. Rebellious spirits be gone right now in the name of Jesus. Gang bangs tonight be gone in the name of Jesus. I speak right now to the fraternities. I speak right now in the sororities. That the spirit of the Lord will go with your loved ones in college. In the name of Jesus. In the sororities. In the name of Jesus. In the fraternities right now. In the name of Jesus. I come in agreement right now. In the name of Jesus. In the sororities right now. In the name of Jesus. I come in agreement right now with the spirit of the Lord that your children will stand up with righteousness of God in the name of Jesus, that it is so. That God will stand up in them. I pray that God will stand up in the courtroom in the name of Jesus. Stand up in the hospitals right now. In the jail houses in the name of Jesus. In the convalescent home in the name of Jesus. On the highways and byways in the name of Jesus. In the airways in the name of Jesus. On the trains right now in the name of Jesus. On the subways right now in the name of Jesus. Ah, hear God. In the name of Jesus. I speak deliverance. I pray that your family shall be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I speak it now. Your wife shall be delivered. Your wife shall walk in newness. Your husband shall walk in newness. With the power of the Holy Ghost that it is so on tonight. Hear the name of Jesus. I pray for the fiancés on tonight. Oh God, that you should come in agreement in oneness in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you on tonight that it is so. I thank you for marriages coming together in the name of Jesus. I thank you, oh God, that he that find it for wife, find it for good thing, and find favor from the Lord. I thank you, dear Lord God, that that man is finding his wife on tonight. I thank you right now that that woman of God is in the vineyard, oh God, gleaning, occupying until he come. In the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you that it is so. And God is meeting your need right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. If this broadcast Hallelujah. It's what you have been in tune with. And it's in tune in with your spirit. Glory be to God. If you have a cash app, glory be to God. I want you to sow a seed to the break of day. Ministry, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are preparing ourselves for purchasing equipment. Glory be to God. If, if you want to pay for a specific piece of equipment, hallelujah. Nothing is up under $100 right now that we are purchasing. But if you would like to contact us privately and say, look, I want to sew on that piece of equipment, please do that if the Lord would move on your heart. We don't want anybody to sew that God is not speaking to. Because this is fertile grounds. This is fertile grounds. Hallelujah. 
If you desire to go to the bodmedia.org, glory be to God, you can go up under the more button and right there you'll see our donation button. It is up under the more button on our website. Sow that seed today because there is much work that still needs to be done. And we are getting ready to see different people. We are going to different cities and states. Some of you don't even know. But we have been commissioned to come to your city. We have been commissioned to come to your state. And we already know that you cannot bring us there financially. God will meet your demand once we get there in your city. Hallelujah. But I want you to know tonight, my mama don't know side. For some of you all that are looking for realness and truth, for a conference, for a speaking engagement, for deliverance, for revival, you can contact us. We are preparing ourselves right now to go to New Jersey. We have a woman of God that's on this page right now. She's in pastoral training. We're going to spend some time with her in Jersey. I'm getting my snow boots on. My snow boots. I'm getting them ready. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to New Jersey. And if you want to be a partner to help us in any way, glory be to God. I want you to know your finance will not go to the ground. It will go to the BOD media. We're getting ready to go back to television. We're going back to another radio station. And we're going global on the radio station. So I need your help because people need to know the truth. And the truth will set them free. On tonight, hallelujah, Jesus. If the Lord is speaking to you and you can sow $50 tonight, please do so. Hallelujah. If you can go to Western Union, you can go to Western Union. If you don't have a PayPal account, if you don't have a cash app, you can inbox us. Hallelujah. And my name is on the Facebook Live. You can put it in my name and I personally will go pick it up. As soon as I pick it up, I will contact you. But of any amount, the Lord is speaking to a few people to sow a seed. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This is serious business. Hallelujah. And I am finding out that this Facebook broadcast is getting real. This is no joke. People are hurting for real. People are crying for real. This is no joke. I've been getting calls. I've been getting inboxes. I've been responding. There is not a call that have reached out to me that I have not called back. Hallelujah. I'm honored to God today. Hallelujah. I had calls lined it up when I was awake, awake today. I had to jump on my phone. Glory be to God. My husband said, you, you are in business and that. You got job, a work to do. Your phone been being. Hallelujah. But I'm excited to be in your home, to be on your phone. Some of you at work right now. All of y'all not on y'all break, so y'all got to get back to work. Hallelujah. But I'm so grateful that I am your sister, your intercessor, your prophetic prayer warrior, that you trust me enough to pray on tonight. There are some people that's coming in covenant with us. I'm excited. It bringing me to tears on what God been doing on this Facebook post. I got people that's members of my church that their parents and their families are in different areas are watching us. I tell you, that's priceless that you can entrust me with your family members. You can entrust me, glory be to God, me and my husband and my church family with your church family. Hallelujah. And we are your church family because you've been trusting us with your family members. So I want to say I salute you today. And I give God the glory and I give God the honor. And yes, I'm getting ready to contact some other people. If there is any men that's on his Facebook post, you'd like to be part of our Break a Day administrative staff. We have a private group that's been already in place now. And we want some men to join. Because we want the men input. Of course, my very own husband, Apostle Bishop Cal H. Stubbs, was, was all, is already on. Hallelujah. And we're going to be seeing him soon. So hopefully we're going to be seeing him this week. He's going to be coming on the broadcast with me. So you all can meet him and you can be greeted with him. And I just thank God for him being the man of God, that God called him, that he released me to the people. And one thing I often tell people, Joyce Myers was able to go around the world and her husband was able to hold the church because God called him to the church but he called her to be global 
And right now, I'm telling you now, it's no secret. I feel a new thing in the spirit that I have to go from place to place and from city to city and from state to state and from country to country to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ. I hope to meet Tina one day. I hope to be in her country. I'm let Tina know I'm there. I want to see you. Glory be to God. Why? Because I need you to understand something. That if you don't call on other people to come in and help you with the global mandate, people that are not saved, people that maybe have their own relationship, their own personal relationship, you'd be surprised to know who would step in to help you. And right now I'm calling on God to use whomever he chooses to be a blessing to the kingdom of God. It does not matter. I'm not sparing not a one. Whoever it is, I believe in God, that God is going to use them to come in and drop that 10,000, that 20,000, that 50,000, that 100,000. And God can be to bless you tonight. You may be in a position to sow a thousand dollars to the break of day. It is a tax write-off. You can sow to this ministry and it is a tax write-off. I don't care if you give $10. It's a tax write-off to sow into this ministry. You would get it back on your taxes. People do it all the time. This is a real ministry doing real business for the kingdom of God. And I want you to know, I want you to be a part of us. You can inbox us. I can't really answer too many calls after I come off the broadcast because I have to get strength and get rest. But a couple people have called back after I got off the broadcast. And I just want you to know, if this broadcast has been a blessing to you, let us know from an email, a post on our Facebook page. Let us know you appreciate us being here because we are here for the kingdom of God. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. I'm looking forward to praying for some of you all. We're going to move in the realm of the spirit and deal with the things of God according to the spirit of God. And I'm so grateful to the Lord that we have a free spirit here tonight. Letitia, I bless God for you. God bless you. I thank you all so very much. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, if there is a prayer request that I need to address on tonight, mm -hmm. oh my God, y'all just showed out on the posts tonight. Ah, yes, yes, y'all just showed out on the comments tonight. Mama, 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 there is somebody that's on this post tonight and I just heard the Lord you are looking for thousands from the Lord and I'm not calling out that number because I don't want nobody you know, getting all crazy because I'm dealing with big numbers but I heard a $500 seed and I heard also the Lord say that you would break up this seed so you're not going to pay it at one time. But there, it seemed like it, it's going to be a couple times that the Lord is speaking tonight, right now, that there's a big amount of money that's held up. And I'm going to tell you now that I have several people that have already received some things from God because they dare to sow. And I heard a $500 seed, and I don't do this. As a matter of fact, I'd be scared to do stuff like this. But I heard the Lord. But because God is getting ready to bless you, and I'm not talking about no $50,000. I'm not talking about that. I'm not even talking about $100,000. Glory be to God. But your name is on this check. I'm telling you as I speak by the prophetic of the Holy Ghost, I have people that I know already have walked into their wealthy place because they heard the word of the Lord from the prophet. And, I, and you just heard me say that you don't have to even sow this 500 at once but the Lord wants you to put a seed in the ground in the next 24 hours I'm speaking to you by the power of the Holy Ghost you put a seed in the ground hallelujah on this $500 seed and you allow God to speak in the realm of the spirit on your behalf there was a woman that came to my church a few years ago and she preached in our church I blessed her for coming and when she got the microphone the last time to give her benediction, her final remark, she said, I can't take this money. And she said, matter of fact, the Lord told me to sow $1,000 to you. And she said, I cannot sow 
this thousand dollars all at once. This woman sent me a check. She gave me all the checks. She told me to put them in the bank every two weeks until it was equivalent to that thousand dollars. I'd never seen that happen before, but it was done. The Bible says you take the foolish thing to find the wise. And today, there is somebody here. I already know who you are. The Lord is speaking to you. To put a seed in the ground, you will know what you can do. And you can come in, in the rest of increments. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I will not be coming in 2018 telling people to sow a $218 seed. My God is bigger and better than that. I'm moved by the realm of the Holy Ghost. So you got to worry about me coming back on watch night night and saying, I need you to sow $218. The Lord already spoke to me this today. And he said, I'm changing up the dynamics of what I'm telling you to do for 2018. I'm taking my people into the abundance of me. Not just in me, but into the abundance of me. Good God Almighty. Lord, please remember me. I hope I'm one of the abundance, Lord Jesus. Please. Don't forget about me, God. Remember me and my family. Lord, remember us. We are suffering for this gospel. And there's many other pastors and PK children and husbands and wives have suffered for this gospel. Remember them also, Lord. Remember them, God. Remember them. Remember men and women of God who have suffered for this gospel. Father, I thank you on tonight. I pray in the realm of the spirit that thy people have heard that cry. They have heard that, that word that have come from you. I pray that the protection of your spirit will rest root in the Bible with them and through them as I pray tonight. I pray that those that you have spoken, oh God, that this is ministry, God. This is the work of the kingdom. This is a, a prayer chamber. And Father, I pray that those that have been touched and those that have been moved by your spirit, I pray, oh God, whether it's a prayer, whether it's a testimony, or whether it's a seed offering, Father, I pray that you will allow them to sow a seed to meet this need of this broadcast and into the things that we have before you, oh God. I pray tonight that lives have been touched and transformed because of your anointing. And Lord, I thank you for allowing us to come into their homes, their jobs, their cars, their phones, oh God. And by the way of YouTube, by the way of Facebook, by the way of social media, Lord, I thank you and I praise you for every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. I ask you, oh God, to put a safe haven over them now. Hide them that say they cannot find them. Guard them with your anointing and guard them with your wings. And God, we pray, oh God, for your keeping power and your saving grace to be amongst them now in the matchless name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for your said word that's done on tonight. And I'm even speaking about the power of God that I just I just need every one of you tonight. Pray for the break of day. Global ministry, because we are on the move for the kingdom of God. God bless you. Stay tuned. We will be back tomorrow night at midnight. And I want you to share this broadcast with somebody. Let them know that this broadcast is being touching lives and moving in the realm of the spirit and moving in the direction that God will have us to go. And tonight I salute you and I pray for you that your faith fell if not. I pray that you will continue to move in the realm of the spirit and allow God to take you there. It's my prayer. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. I thank you, God. I thank you for doing it on tonight. In Jesus' name, let it be so. Let it be so. In Jesus' name. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you, oh God. In Jesus' name. As we leave this line, not from the presence of God, as we leave the prayer line, the prayer chamber on the line, we leave the word of the Lord tonight. Shalom. God bless you all. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Glory be to God.